Linda Murray Bullard is Erlanger Health System's contract process coordinator. She previously worked for Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee for more than two decades. Linda earned a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration from Bryan College, is certified by the Project Management Institute, and is a Six Sigma Yellow Belt. Her book, The Well Ran Dry, Memoirs of a Motherless Child, was recently accepted into the Library of Congress's general collection. Linda, who uses her book and her life story to educate others on the power of choice, also facilitates an adult entrepreneur class for Lunch of Chattanooga, a nonprofit organization that provides business training opportunities in several of Chattanooga's underserved communities. Linda also is the owner of LSMB Business Solutions, LLC, a business consulting firm. Here's motivator Linda Murray Bullard with This Woman's Life Has Many Chapters. Hello, everyone. You clapped for me. You welcomed me. You accepted me. That means a lot to me. I have worked hard for these four, uh, 54 years, and I have been trying to advance and be all that I can be, but I ha cannot go forward without going back. You see, my mind goes back to nine years old, and my dad comes in, and he says, Mama's not coming home anymore. It's Christmas Day. It's gray. It's cold and mama's not coming home anymore. Processing that in my nine-year-old self, what I heard was, mama's not coming back from the store. Mama's not coming back from downtown paying bills. In my nine-year-old mind, mama left, but mama always came back home. I, the next few days were up and down, many people, many places, a lot to do. And I remember people coming in, helping my father process my mother's loss and say, oh, she won't remember, she's only nine. But I stand before you here today telling you I do remember. I remember their faces. I remember those conversations. I was nine, but I wasn't dead. Fast forward four years and I'm sitting in a health class at Eastside Junior High School. And they're telling us as young ladies how babies are made. You see, that story was relevant for me because had I heard it five months ago, I could have applied it. But imagine everything you've learned since you were nine from your mother, and you'll see my deficit in learning. Everything I learned about being a woman I learned from a stranger, a kind stranger, someone who embraced my loneliness, someone who saw the voids in my life, but not my mother. I have my son and I'm in the hospital and he's out and I'm looking at the first time acceptance. You see, when you're without your mother, people look at you with pity. When you're without, when you're pregnant, they look at you with disgust. To walk, not just from strangers, I mean from family members, from doctors, from teachers, from everybody in the world, in their mind, you are a bad girl. However, what they fail to understand is my backstory is I was still trying to learn how to be a girl. So when I was four months pregnant, I learned how I got pregnant because miseducation is just as bad as no education at all. Nine years old. 13 years old, 14 years old. I had my son, and I told my son on the day he was born, you are our leader. And every day of his life, from that day to this one, he will be 40 in May. And I tell him, you are a leader. My son has a 16-year career at the Chattanooga Fire Department. His, his daughter graduated Emory University. What I do in my groundbreaking is I've sat at the table at amazing people. I've been to amazing places. I've done a lot of things. 
But along my way, my journey only begins when I break ground from a little girl who's 13 to 19 years old and she's going through maternity and she feels like people think that in her 13th or 19th body, 13 through 19 year old body, that her mind is 25 to 30 years old and she can make a difference and she can sort through it and she can make it better. My groundbreaking will come when on September the 20th, I host the first ever in this city, a teen mom empowerment conference for up to 150 of Chattanooga's children. Because my groundbreaking starts when I make it better for someone else. My name is Linda Murray Buller. I'm all those things Maria said. But before all those things, I was motherless and I was a teen mom. Dr. Maya Angelou penned it best in defining phenomenal women like these. Now you understand just why their heads are not bowed. They don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see them passing, it ought to make you proud. Just say it's in the click of their heels, the bend of their hair, the palms of their hands, the knees for their care, because these are women, phenomenally, phenomenal women. That's Deborah Levine, Candace Taylor, Jenny Strickland Sands, Linda Murray Bullard, and Millie Smith. And now for another phenomenal woman, here's Erlanger Health Systems Diversity Officer Elizabeth Affleck who will award prizes and conclude tonight's program. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Isn't this, wasn't this a great program? Let's give all the ladies, stand up ladies. Please stand up. You guys are so wonderful. Thank you. 